gentleman reserves. Without objection, the gentlewoman from New Mexico will control the time for the minority and is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the gentleman from New York, Mr. Langworthy, for the customary 30 minutes. I ask unanimous consent to revise and extend my remarks and yield myself such time as I may consume. Without objection. Republicans called us into an emergency, an emergency meeting to consider today's rules several weeks ago. Several weeks ago is an emergency. Actually, America does have some emergencies that need to be addressed. Our national security is at risk. Putin, the dictator, may win his war against our ally if we don't surge aid to Ukraine. Putin wants World War III, and Putin protecting Republicans don't want to address that emergency. Remember, Putin's war caused our energy prices to rise. I call on responsible Republicans to address our national security emergency. I call on them to address the bipartisan, overwhelmingly bipartisan bill that passed the Senate. America has another emergency. In five legislative days, count them, it's a single hand. In five legislative days, our federal government won't have money to pay its workers, to pay its contracts, to do our jobs. So today should be a day to govern, a day to address America's emergencies. Instead, we are taking up one of the most precious resources we have in Congress, and that is floor time for an election ploy to help certain New York Republicans win their next election. Last night, New Yorkers told America they were tired of Republicans' failure to govern, didn't they? Now, Republicans are using floor time to save the fragile re-election campaigns of some other New York Republicans. But let, don't let them fool you. H.R. 7160 is simply a Band-Aid for a problem that the twice impeached, four times indicted former President Trump and Republican congressional folks caused in the first place. They created this problem that they now want to put a Band-Aid on. They capped the SALT deduction in their tax bill to give tax breaks to the wealthiest corporations and CEOs. As we know, Republicans and Trump seem to care more about the richest Americans. There are real emergencies that all Americans want this Congress to address. The federal government could shut down in just two weeks, an absolute disaster that these bills don't even mention. That should be our priority. Yet we have another week of chaos and dysfunction of dealing with things that are not priorities for the American people. It's another week that Republicans allow small sections of their party to dictate what we see on the floor based on their re-election priorities. It's another week that extreme MAGA Republicans push partisan political stunts. The other bill in this rule is another one of those stunts. H.R. Resolution 987 is a non-binding, politically motivated resolution that does nothing, nada, nothing, to lower energy costs or provide effective energy solutions. Like so much of what Republicans do in the House, it's a distraction from the real bipartisan work Congress must do. And from the first paragraph, it's wrong. Just yesterday, we got a new consumer price index report which shows energy prices fell last month. They have fallen 4.6% in the last year. The United States is producing more oil than ever before, more than any time during the Trump administration. More importantly, energy is not just oil and gas. The Inflation Reduction Act that Democrats passed and President Biden signed into law last Congress created more than 170,000 clean energy jobs in the U.S. so far. Wind, solar, geothermal, these are important elements of our American energy portfolio. The Inflation Reduction Act provided $369 billion in investments for clean energy and for reducing greenhouse gas pollution. This resolution that does nothing is just wrong. Do nothing. It's a do-nothing Congress. It's a yet another day in our do-nothing Congress. And let's 
not take our word for it. In the first session of the 117th Congress, 81 bills had been enacted into law. In the first section of the Republican-led 118th Congress, 34 bills. That's all, just 34 bills. One of the most unproductive Congresses in modern history. The American people deserve more. They want more. They want us to do our work. So with that, Mr. Speaker, I urge my colleagues to vote no on the wool, and I reserve the balance of my time.